Mi amor, si yo le gusto, dígamelo, no tenga miedo, escríbame, dígame, mamadita. What up, this is your boy, the Solo Chaplo ORD. Thanks again for checking out another video review. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here. Appreciate all the support. So I want to start off this video with what goes on in the States, what, what a lot of you brothers are dealing with when it comes down to these dates. So I got a video from, um, it could be, you know, comedy skit or whatever, but a lot of comedy skits have a lot of truth in it. And it actually starts off with this one guy who's actually in a car saying, saying basically first dates in Atlanta be like and showing how horrible it is dating in Atlanta. And of course, there's several different sides of it. You know, the women has made their own type of video and the men has made their own type of video. So I guess that a lot of crazy stuff goes down in Atlanta. It's funny because I bring this up because I have a few people that would jump on a couple of my videos talking about the women in other countries saying that, oh, they got that in Atlanta. But one of the biggest thing is you may have got some type of some type of beautiful or nice looking women in Atlanta. However, are they cooperative? Are they there? Do they have your back? Are they loyal or are they 304s? It's the biggest question. If you're looking for a 304, hey, I totally understand. Do your thing. Have fun. But a lot of the guys that are traveling, they're looking for wives. They're looking for a better way of life. They're looking to, to expat to another country. So there's several different reasons why brothers are leaving the United States. It could be for women. It could be for a better life. You never know. But, but we'll go ahead and jump into the video and see what's up. And like I said, right here it says, first dates be like, I'm sorry, first dates in Atlanta be like. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to see because I need, I might need to hold something because, shit, my, I need like 10,000, my car, Bruh. I get repo. <laughs> I'm about oh, to get a bitch from my place. I would let you hit, but you know, I'm on my period right now and I don't even got no, uh, ass for real, so I couldn't even really take my tip on out. I mean, but if you're into something like that, we can figure it out. Bitch, do I look like your therapist, counselor or something? Don't be talking to me about your motherfucking problem. I don't want to hear that shit. You think you about to get something in? <laughs> I guess that's how it be. Hey, yo, let's move on to the next video. So now after looking at that last video, let's see what Pearl has to say about modern women. Women that are in this generation and what uh, with their expectation and, you know, what they look for. So let's go ahead and see what's up. The men actually are bringing more to the table than women these days. But the problem is women have an inflated sense of ego, thinking we're more important and more special than we are. Because we got these these jobs that I'm are pretty much... More beautiful than they are. Yeah. Can I say, and though? So 45% of men do a job that runs society. That means they, they drive the trucks, they drive the buses, they build the buildings. So half of men have a job that runs the infrastructure of society. That's an important job. How okay? dare so you? There, there's pro provisioning, right? Protection. The average guy is stronger than the average woman. The average woman is more promiscuous than the average man. The mm. average woman is fatter than the average man. The average woman is the same age, so she's not even younger than the average guy. Yep. yep. And those are reasons why brothers are becoming passport bros and getting up out of here. That is a part of the reason why. Let's check out the next video. So with this video, I got to say shout out to my boy, Brazil, yes. Yo, I haven't seen much content from him recently, but yo, tell you guys, go subscribe, go go check him out, hit him up on TikTok, YouTube, wherever you could think of. He has a lot of content. Y'all gotta go ahead and follow him. Y'all gotta make sure that you get, um, see what's going on with him, get his book as well. Yo, shout out to him. Are your thoughts on the passport bro movement of men leaving America for better wives abroad? Hey, John, thank you very much for the uh, TTS. Um, maybe a brief little snippet on this, if you yes. can. Yes, yeah, I, I think that you can find higher quality women in other places. Like, I married an Englishman. Uh, yeah, I think that America has really lowered the cultural standards mm. for yep. women more than any. You don't see this kind of, even this, the way women dress in America compared Jesus to Christ. England fascinates me. And so, yeah, I, I think find a wife, do what you gotta do. But also don't discount the South because there are so many mm. good women in the South. Uh, you nah. have a lot Not of men in the West, a lot of men in the U.S. going overseas to try to find perhaps a, a wife who's a bit more feminine or, you know, whatever they're not finding here in the in the West. 
but you don't hear of men from other countries in droves coming to the U.S. Nope. to find a wife here. Mm. You don't really hear that. So. They all paying attention. Shout out to Candace Owens for saying that. Shout out to the Blue Book gentlemen. You see this symbol. Shout out to the Passport Bros. We going overseas, yo. We've been doing this for years. This ain't nothing new. The world just getting wind of it. But that's why I wrote the book, The Revenge of Sexless Men. Go get that. That's why I wrote hashtag Passport Bros, the official ideology. Go get that. And that's why I wrote so many countless dating books over the years and travel books and books to help men's minds out to show that you got an alternative. America makes you think that it's okay for all of this chaos to happen. Go overseas, yo. Right, shout out to the brother, man. Always dropping that knowledge. Yo, let's, let's check out the next video. Now, coming from that, hearing from, from Brazil, yes, about femininity and so forth, let's hear what Anthony McDonald Sr. has to say. It says here, travel to where femininity comes naturally. Hashtag passport bros. That's right. That's very important. Hey, yo, fellas, I got a suggestion for you. I've heard many men, black men in America, talk about that a lot of the women that they encounter domestically, that they're not feminine, that they switch their femininity on and off, that they would only be feminine for the right man at the right time, that they're not cooperative, that many of them are not fit, Nope. That uh, many different problems that you all have uh, complained that you know that you have encountered with some women domestically. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, we know that this is not a one size fit all. We know that there are some good women in every place around the world. But once again, that's that needle in the haystack. That's right. Yeah, that's that finding the needle in the haystack, trying to look for that one good woman out of every maybe three, 4,000 women uh, that you would encounter. So here's my suggestion. My suggestion is for you to travel to where femininity comes naturally. Exactly. Yeah. There are some countries in this world where women are just naturally feminine, where they don't have to, uh, to switch the light switch on for them to be feminine for the right man. Exactly. If the man is uh, doing this or doing that, it's not, it's unconditional. They don't, their femininity do not come with conditions. Exactly. Every man wants a woman that their femininity is unconditional. No man wants a conditional feminine woman. Exactly. And, and just to touch on that a little bit, just like he said, no man wants a, a conditional women and femininity it's the same thing for them they don't want a man that will turn on his masculine on and off so i don't understand why is it that they like to throw that around that they could say that they could be feminine whenever they they have the right person but then for men you know you, you have to always stay masculine no, no i'm sorry it, it doesn't make any sense that means that she's in her masculinity because she's in her masculinity it has nothing to do with whatever man she's with that's just the way she was raised it had nothing to do with us don't try to pawn that on men Men just don't want that. If that's the problem that you're facing, men, fellas, if that's the problem that you have seen, if that's your experience, and granted, there are some men that uh, might not want that, you know, and that's that's fine. No, every man wants what they want, you know, and that's mm -hmm. granted. We, you can't take away from anyone their own personal desires. So this is particularly for the men that have uh, stated that they want feminine women, that they want feminine women that are feminine 24 seven without conditions. It's not for the men that are not interested in that kind of woman. It's not for women, it's not bashing any woman that are that is feminine, that uh, is a conditional feminine woman that's not feminine. Uh, hats off, you no know, do you? No one's mad at you at all. No one's mad at you all. There's someone out there in the world for you. And I'm sure you're going to find them. I'm sure you're going to make that person happy. But for the fellas that want a feminine woman that's feminine 24-7, travel to the places where the femininity comes naturally. My suggestion is African countries, but there's many others around the world as well. That's right. Yo, I, I agree with him wholeheartedly. Yo, travel 
get out of here you will find something better do not go do not stay in places such as the united states great britain where femininity is not is basically looked at as be as weakness you want to go where femininity is embraced all these other countries you know outside of western culture so i i agree with him but in touching and in, in talking about that what he has to say is, is go into the other video and see what's up and lastly this is what femininity looks like a woman like this telling you she's over here telling you she enjoys being you know um being written to talk to and so forth you know what i mean in her she's in her femininity all the time Mi amor, si yo le gusto, dígamelo, no tenga miedo, escríbame, dígame, mamacita, usted me gusta, ¿cuándo vamos a salir? Porque es que yo soy divina, no adivina. I tell you, that's what we enjoy, a feminine woman. Well, this is your boy, the Solo Chavo ORD. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the video. Uh, did a lot of these guys get it right? Or was there a lot of discrepancy in what they had to say? So let's go and have a discourse on that. Nonetheless, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.